when you write a poem, it's for the poem. And whatever happens after that is up to the reader. 400 mourners. The sizes of the crowds in those burn baby burn days were at best estimates. Depending on who the police, the press, the thousands in protest was counting. The body count, we called it. And after the arrest, we were lined up alphabetically for fingerprints and phone calls. It wasn't all that much, though the numbers made a difference as they argued significance. That was later, at the dead end of the 60s. The rallies against the war mixed with the killings of the Kennedys and King and the nuclear meltdown of democracy at the convention in Chicago. But at the beginning of the decade, it was man on the moon, hand on the heart. Ralph Abernathy, who had recruited most of us, came by one day just to say hello. We were on the white side of the table, the soon to be eligible black voters on the other. Greenville was as liberal as it got in Mississippi. The Delta almost as ancient as the flooding of the Nile. The names, the spellings, the signatures, like maps of the world once flat. And the heat and the dog's breath weight of the air. And the wet dust needlework of the People had died there under a different register as thousands more thousands of nautical miles southeast would die who had not voted. Ralph said the numbers finally didn't matter. The idea of change was enough. He meant quotes, an idea whose time has come. The few new voters each seemed wise and old, older than anyone we knew older than parents or grandparents, older than the country or anger's life expectancy. They had looked into the sun. They had looked into it a long time. The Carter family newspaper spoke of joy with sometimes grief, as if the happiness of change felt like a passage this is 50 years now gone. It's crazy that so much of it came back to me, witnessing the funeral of a child. The countless car cortege wound through the towns, winter wastes, as if the hearse could not quite find its way. There is no end to the death of a child. So that when we detoured past her elementary school, Everyone was out in the cold, in the hundreds.